Hello everyone. Through this video, we will learn how to troubleshoot IPsec VPN configuration for Palo Alto Networks firewalls. Most of the VPN issues or IPsec VPN configuration issues are because of mismatched configurations between the two sides of the VPN. Like, for example, mismatched pre-shared keys or misconfigured peer IDs or mismatched phase one or phase two proposals. So, through this video, I will teach you the methodology to troubleshoot these configuration issues and step by step. And the easy ways. In order to effectively troubleshoot IPsec VPN, you need to configure your site as a responder by enabling passive mode on the phase one or IKE gateway configurations. Because when you when you are the responder, you will get more details in the logs because you are com comparing what you have what you receive compared compared to what you have configured so the what you find in the logs we will use two types of logs system logs and IKE manager debugging logs. System logs you can find easily in the GUI and it can help you to find peer ID mismatch, reshared key mismatch, proxy ID mismatch, and also if there is a timeout, most probably because of. Uh, ISB is blocking the IPsec or maybe uh, routing or security policy issues but we will focus in this session on the mismatched configurations between the two peers or the two sides IKE manager log will help you to find exactly uh, why phase one or phase two proposals are uh, mismatched and what is exactly the mismatched parameters also if there is a BFS uh, option mismatch between the two peers so let's see how we troubleshoot on our lab uh, practically so you can follow the steps if you have this problem first in order to check the status for the ipsec vpn we go to a network ipsec tunnels and they check the status for phase one and phase two if it is up it will show green but now as we can see show red for both Phase 1, which is IKE, and Phase 2, which is IBSEC. As we said, need to configure your site as a responder by enabling passive mode inside the advanced option of the IKE gateway. Here, enable passive mode. So, and ask the other side to initiate by sending traffic or starting initiating IBSEC VPN.
start the negotiation and we will check first the system logs from the monitor tab monitor system logs and use the following filter subtype equal VBN check the timestamps as we can see here phase one is failing because of mismatched reshared key well, let's try to fix the pre-shared key by making sure it is correct entering it again Let's commit the configuration and see how it goes. Let's clear the VBN tunnel. First, show VBN flow from the CLI. As we can see here, the tunnel ID is tunnel ID 1. Let's clear this tunnel. is cleared now let's restart or initiate again from the other side and then let's check the status again from the GUI as we can see here after we updated the pre shared key with the correct value Phase one is now up. But phase two is still down. Let's check again the system logs. As we can see here, we can see that phase two is down because we have mismatched phase two proposal. No proposal chosen for phase two. No suitable proposal found in Beers SA Bay load. So, what is exactly is not matched? We need to get the details, as we said before, from the IKE manager log. We will use the command debug IKE global show to show the debugging level for IKE. As we can see here, the debugging level is normal. We will enable debugging mode. Now we have enabled the debugging mode. After we have enabled debug mode debug uh, level on the IKE we will use a command tail follow yes mb-log IKE manager.log to view the log live for the IKE manager log file then we will initiate the VPN again from the other side and see what we will receive in the logs after checking the logs we can see here mismatched authentication and encryption so my, my side using char SHA-1 and the beer is using SHA-2 and I'm using encryption 3 des and the beer is using AES
So, as you can see here also, the beer is using AES256 and SHA256, but I am using either AES122, 128, and SHA1 or 3 this with SHA1. So, phase two failed because no suitable uh, policy found. So, let's correct it from IBSEC tunnel and selecting the right crypto profile. We will use the correct crypto profile here. And commit the configuration and try again by reinitiating the tunnel and see if it is if it will go up. Let's initiate again. And let's check the status again after we have corrected the phase two proposal. As you can see, the tunnel now is up, phase one and phase two. I hope this video was helpful and I would and thank you for viewing.